the brakes, Berkeley! No, really, my brakes just gave out. Please help me. <laughs> Officer down! Hey everyone, welcome to the Roosterteeth Podcast. This week brought to you by MeUndies, Ring, and Stamps.com. I'm Gus. I'm Gavin. I'm Chris. Barbara. And Gus. Hi, Chris. How's the Hi. Uh, are, are, you, are you feeling better? Yes. Yeah, okay. I just had a headache. What, what was, was it from all this? the is it Italian I, I, food? I a, is it from all the, no, it's the not pasta? From, it's not, no, 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 it's not at all from that. <laughs> it's not from pasta. Pasta doesn't give you migraines or headaches or yeah, anything Yeah, but like the that. lack of nutrients does. There's, I, there's so many different options for me to get. It's not lack of nutrients. So how many so, times? So many you... different options, like the Alfredo sauce or the marinara. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, and the shape of the pasta. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, there's, there's a lot more sauces. <laughs> there, there's, uh, there's like a garlic sauce. There's a mushroom sauce. There's a, 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 a Alfredo. There's a marinara. There's a meat sauce. There's a five cheese marinara. A five cheese marinara. Yeah. So how many times have you been? So far. Okay, you want I got stats. Yeah, let's get some stats. And why have out I here. not been on one of those trips? Well, For those of you who don't know, Chris has uh, received the pasta pass at Olive Garden. Not received, he I bought it. He bought, he bought it. <laughs> Uh, for a hundred dollars, which gives him unlimited pasta and soup and salad for nine weeks. So I've, I assume you've already made your money back. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, well, he probably made it back in two days. Yeah. Well, no. Well, because a, tr a trip to Olive Garden, if you know, based upon like uh, what I was ordering, was probably being like you know, um, not around twenty bucks a meal or something. So you made it back pretty quick. So yeah. After five trips, you're yeah. done. Yeah. It's impressive. Um, I want like, to hear. Like I want to hear these stats. I'm so curious. I, I'm. I'm. Mo the, mo the thing I'm most curious about is what stats is Chris keeping track of? Like, what is he about to unload he's, on us? He's going <laughs> to unload how many times he's been there, how many breadsticks he's eaten, how many guests he's brought with him, how many meals he's had that haven't been Olive Garden. These are all guesses, by the way. Yeah, no, that's pretty spot on. Okay, cool. The number of guests I don't have tallied. But those uh, are extra points, right? But I, ha I have you, them listed. Are you waiting for the I numbers to come back from NASA? Yeah. <laughs> what about, I have them listed. I just, didn't, I just didn't add them up. What about total calories or average calories per visit? Well, I don't, no, I don't know about that. I don't count. I'm I think we blame. could probably estimate that ourselves. Oh. So Yeah, we can go back and like look at the menu and figure that out. Yeah. So uh, I have been to Olive Garden 12 times. <laughs> it's been two weeks? <laughs> two weeks. Okay, that's less than I thought. Yeah, but I've eaten... I've eaten 18 meals of Olive Garden. Oh, so you're taking stuff home and having yes. it the next day. Yeah, I'm having a lot, lot of pasta for breakfast. Yeah, I've had a lot of pasta breakfast. That's um, so heavy. That's so like, well, yeah. it's so, not a good morning. And you I want to start your day with a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Try Olive Garden. <laughs> um, and I have five meal penalties, which are meals I purchased that were not Olive Garden. Why well, do you have five penalties? Uh, a couple times is like a birthday lunch, you know, and then like uh, I, I was like out of town. You, you for couldn't a convince week. the person whose birthday lunch it was that they I should tried. buy lunch. I tried. Of so course. you went to a place where there was no Olive Garden. Yeah, yeah, and, then, and like there was one time where it's like I didn't have time. Like it was a lunch on a weekday, and I didn't have time to get to Olive Garden, so I just run and get something at HEB. <laughs> and I didn't have leftovers from me. Did you eat pasta from HEB? No, 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 no. That would have been double meal penalty. Oh, is it double penalty? Yes. You my, didn't tell us that before. My oh. favorite thing ever happened last week. So we have uh, a shoot day every week, usually on Thursdays, that we shoot our t-shirts on. And we always get lunch delivered to the office so that we could just break for lunch, have lunch, and then go back to filming. And last week, Chris is like, oh, great. Like, lunch is, is paid for by the company, which means it's a free lunch for me, which is it's not a penalty. We get lunch. It's fucking pasta. <laughs> and he was like... No. Uh, on, on Friday, I asked him if he was sick of Olive Garden yet, and he said no, that he still loved it. If you had said you were sick of Olive Garden, I was going to ask them to bring Olive Garden in for our meal before <laughs> I, the podcast today. Well, I actually pitched that to Eric because then then I get I get a free meal and uh, and it's like a, a ton it's of a, bonus points. It's bonus points, it's, yeah, because it's like and then all of a sudden I have all these friends coming. But I thought the point was you have to take people to Olive Garden. That's true. Well, anyway, it still would have been an extra meal I didn't have to worry about. So um, what, what what about weight? Have you noticed any change? We have, we have uh, the the scale uh, yeah, is yeah. set up in the same spot again. I, I, I can I can jump on the scale. So he, he, here's here's I, I'm I'm proud of you for using the word scale this week. Yeah. By the way, well, he not, just not said weight thing. Not weight <laughs> machine. Here here's the thing is, uh, I have noticed this. I will say this, I'm uh, skipping a lot of meals because you're still full. Well, it's a mixture of two things. One, 
pasta for breakfast really gets you, it's really you know lasts for a long time. So I'm not as hungry. It really for solidifies lunch. into your stomach. Um, but also, if I don't have time to go to Olive Garden or I can't eating. commit, then I just like will skip lunch. Mm. Or you know, or not eat. So, th so this, somehow this diet's getting worse the more you're talking well, about. What do you mean it's getting gonna worse? Lose weight on this challenge, I'm, maybe. Well, here, yeah, and that's the thing. I'm, I, I, you're not I, getting enough calories that you need. I may not be, but I mean, I'm it's still eating a lot. Are you being malnourished? I'm Is the unlimited pasta pass malnourishing you? <laughs> Blink once for yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm still eating, but it's just like I, I, I just like eat a lot, like twice a day. Do you have any vegetables in your current? Olive Garden diet. Yes, I have uh, unlimited salad, and then there's also a uh, there's also a vegetable option for like your your like side. Yeah, entree or like your, your meatballs or veg mixed vegetables. Do you get vegetables often? Yeah, yeah, I've been okay, mixed. I've been mixing. Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused here. What do the vegetables replace? Do they replace the pasta or the meatballs? The no, it's still pasta. It's pasta and then a sauce and then like a topping, like a chicken or a shrimp or a Vegetables. Um, okay. Wait, so you, so get, you like get like three pieces of broccoli. You, there's three variables in your decision. <laughs> so you get pasta, <laughs> sauce, and instead of meat, you put vegetable on it. Yeah, sometimes. Okay, I'm just making. I'm just. I'm yeah. not. I'm just trying to make sure <laughs> not I understand. Always. Like not a, always. A yeah. carrot Alfredo. <laughs> what, yeah. What's that yeah. Um. But Bro anyway, broccoli spaghetti. How many, so, how many breadsticks are you fucking eating, dude? You're holding out on us. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I and I. <laughs> well, here I, I'll read Zach's stats too, so that you know. So he has. 10 trips to Olive Garden, 13 meals, and only three meal penalty. So I'm ahead by three meals. Okay. Um, and he also, came, he ended up coming to Austin and, and has been in Austin because he, he was having, it's harder for him to get to Olive Garden. So he, he flew to Austin <laughs> just so that he could be closer to an Olive Garden. <laughs> what? How, how many Olive Garden locations are there in the war in the United States? Well, here's the deal is it for him an uber to and from the the closest Olive Garden to where he lives was like It was like a $20 uber. So oh shit. A, so he was like he he budgeted it out And he's like it's cheaper to get a plane a plane flight to Austin And and he just and he showed up at my house and then was like hey, can I stay with you? And I was like, okay, I guess uh, <laughs> and and I because I live close to an Olive Garden so he can actually walk to an Olive Garden Did there, you not know he, he was coming? He can't walk no. to an Olive Garden. No. We can drive, to, roll, scoot, whatever you want to call <laughs> there are, it. There are 892 Olive Garden locations globally. Yeah. So, so he would. How much was his flight? I would, like it was. It was like a. It was like a. He got a, a trip to Austin. It was like 90 bucks. Oh. Oh. And then really the good. return. A return flight was like nine. It was like less than 200 dollars, which would have been so like a few trips. Did, like a 10 few trips. Yeah. Did he have any other reason to be in Austin other than this? No. You all I mean, need he help. Has, I mean, there's something wrong. He, I mean, he. It, it also counts as a. You know, he has like friends. Yeah, sure. So he's spending time yeah, here. So yeah, he hung out. Chris. <laughs> oh, sorry. Why are you stats, sandbagging stats. me on the number I'm of breadsticks? We're so talking. I have. I've. I've had 23 breadsticks. That's not as many as I would have thought. So that's yeah. What like two per trip? Sometimes I don't even. Oh, yeah. Well, like on the leftovers. Maybe I didn't add that up right. Yes. And then Zach has had 43 and an eighth. That's more like <laughs> an eighth. Don't count it by the eight. 43 <laughs> breadsticks? Yeah. Some guy clearing up the table and someone left seven eighths <laughs> of a breadstick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that, that, you gotta catch up. Yeah, he, I'm way behind on breadsticks. 43 breadsticks. <laughs> My yeah. God. How long would that be if it was one long breadstick? <laughs> well, oh. big it's a big, big old chunk of carb. How long can an olive garden breadstick be? Before it snaps under its own weight. I don't know if you just hold the end. They're pretty soft. It depends on how fresh it is. You've had them before. They right? harden up probably after like because they come out when they're hot. They're pretty soft. You get but, them in your mouth and they get nice and hard. Could we weigh you? <laughs> yeah, a, a yeah. Two week weigh in. Yes, absolutely. And so, he, but I want I want to give you. A, so uh, when Zach showed up, he hadn't been weighed in, and so I had to buy a scale. I bought a scale, and then we figured out in order to weigh him, I I had to. Weigh myself and then pick him up, and then weigh both of us together. Oh, because he can't. Because he couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Honest. He couldn't like get. You Could know, because he couldn't stand on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I weighed in, that <laughs> whenever he showed up, it had been a week, and obviously scales vary somewhat. I had lost one. I had lost one. I didn't want to hear that. 
I wanted you to get on the okay, scale. Okay. But that was so, the, that was so a week Chris ago, right? Weighed in two weeks ago. It also wasn't this scale. This is the same. Yeah. This is a little less than two weeks ago. A little more than two weeks ago. Two weeks ago to the day. Today. Okay. And he was 147 pounds. I believe so. I'm gonna I, guess he's gonna a, weigh yeah. 150. I'm gonna guess Don't 152. Like, I feel like Chris has never e used the scale because he just goes and stands on it. Well, he didn't know what it was called last time he was on. I, I my mine that I've always had. You have to like punt the front. To right. To get it to like turn on. He is he zero pounds. Nothing. He's lost so much weight. <laughs> You're looking good for that weight, Chris. <laughs> I think he turned it on with him on it. So <laughs> zero to his own weight. Okay, so like what the fuck? The same weight. You only gained like half a pound? 0.6 pounds? God damn it! So uh, an Olive Garden breadstick is 10 inches long. <laughs> nice. According to this. Chris, <clears throat> you've gained a half a pound in two weeks of eating nothing but Olive Garden. Did you wait? Did you have your phone and your shit in your pocket last time? No, I think I took it out. I mean, we could, I'm pretty sure I took it off. Okay. I'm, I'm amazed. Well, I, I, I guess I, it makes sense if you're skipping meals because it think balances it out. Also, it's funny because we were thinking about this the other day. We looked up on the Olive Garden website on their nutrition facts, and the stuff there is actually not that bad. Like, I think Andrew mentioned that the <coughs> Alfredo, the chicken Alfredo, was like 4,500 calories, and that's, like, not right at all. I think that's, like, the, that's for the catering, catering sir, stuff. Oh. Yeah. Also, I will say <laughs> this. I'm way more partial to marinara than I am to, like, an Alfredo sauce. Is that is, healthier? Yeah. yeah. It, you say all, it so definitively. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Also, uh, yeah, you know the, what? The you know, cream-based stuff tends yeah. to be a little worse for you. You know what blew my mind? Um, was, I, I can't wait to hear. Was they have a gluten-free... Uh, pasta and I and I got it once to try it and I was like it's got to be healthier, right? It's way way less healthy. How so? How, how do you define less healthy? Uh, it had more saturated. I took a picture, but I'd have to look. I don't know. It's like it's w more more saturated fats, more calories, more more bad stuff, less protein. More bad stuff. Just yeah, it was like way worse. Than I think everything. that's common for a lot of things that are like fat free or sugar free or whatever it is because they, then they compensate for the the flavors that they're losing by being fat free or whatever it is. Um so they compensate in other unhealthy ways. Yeah. So I was like I, I was bl it blew my mind. So what are your dumps like? Well, so that's 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 definitely uh that's there was asking a asking the real questions. Yeah. That, I mean, I've been waiting to ask that for like 10 Yeah, minutes. yeah. <laughs> Day three was when diarrhea hit. Um, God. Uh, well, that's how you're not putting weight. You're shitting liquid. No, no, no. But no, no, no. But but did it go it away? It settled down. Okay. It was like a day or so. Because uh, I had a, it was like but yeah, three or four days of just Olive Garden. So that was like not last Thursday, but the one before. I think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I think I texted Zach. It's like it is hit. <laughs> uh, because what he'd warned me, he had warned me ahead of time. Like whenever I got the pasta pass, I'll read you his text. He sent me. Um, <laughs> That's why you're team de marinara. Team de marinara. Hashtag. Um, What's Zach again? Zacaroni. Zacaroni. Yeah. Give me one second. And I'll I, read you. Are you getting any fiber? Like, is there any fiber other than in maybe the vegetables? In anything in Olive Garden, because that I feel like would really fuck up your shit. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know what is. I don't know where fiber comes from. It's vegetables, right? Uh, vegetables or or well, some, got, oh, like a lot of different foods you can yeah. eat. Oh, there's also soup. There's vegetables in the soup, have, and I get that. Uh, so whenever I got the pasta pass, because I initially got it and Zach didn't get it, he get, they sent him one. Mm -hmm. Um, he said that's awesome. You know, this is taking all my strength to be happy for you. I said, I know. And he said, <clears throat> you have to go every day. As we experience, the first few days will be nothing but diarrhea. But after that, it'll be the best nine weeks of your life. Diarrhea? Said no one it, ever. Because it's like it, your, your body has to adjust to only eating pasta. Poison? Like, yeah, oh. Not poison, po <laughs> pasta. Oh, gotcha. So, yeah, and it, it, there, was, there was like a day or two where I was a little worried. But then it, <laughs> now it's, I'm solid. You good? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I, I think about um, Super Size Me, the guy who did McDonald's for it was like yeah. 30 days straight, right? Like that, for yeah. every meal. And he had like doctors check him out before, during, and after the whole process. Do you have anything like that going where someone's like monitoring the status of your heart health and things of that nature? I don't know. 
Someone, hey, do you want to check my heart? I don't know how you do that. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine. At a doctor. I mean, I guess I could go to the doctor, but that's that's a lot of work. Um, I guess I'll find something else. I don't maybe think he's in any danger long term. I guess here. McDonald's I, is a different. McDonald's piece. is a little different. Also, I am making an effort to like vary things up. Like, how get, so? Well, like they have a whole wheat uh, noodle. Oh, uh, you tried the gluten free one, like no, you said. Well, no, no, not the gluten free. They have a whole wheat and a gluten free and a gluten free. The so whole wheat. Do they have a gluten only? <laughs> right. Extra gluten? Yeah. Just a um, pile of dust in your plate. <laughs> I'm trying to eat like the grilled chicken or the veggies a lot instead of instead of like fried stuff. Instead of like meatballs and fried oh. shrimp. Are you still mm. working out? Yeah, not. I, I need. I need to be better about. It. I've just been busy. I'm just worried you're going to lose a lot of weight if you're not getting enough calories and working <clears throat> out. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'm if, if, if I. I'm gonna start going to the gym more regularly again. Cause, Cause like I this is gonna it. become like a really good diet plan for you. Just I'll be curious. Weight. I can't wait to see like the articles Chris is gonna write later, like the Olive Garden diet. <laughs> yeah, a book. He's gonna come out with a book. Yeah, man. When I you're was, here, your family. Did anybody? Slight change of subject. Did anybody? Does anybody ever watch uh, Nathan for You, a TV show that was yeah. on Comedy Central? Yeah. That makes me. He said he would write a book about the episode where he set up the that what, being a mover was a great workout. Yeah. And he like yeah he created a, a fitness right guru and and had a fake book written and had him on all these talk shows to so the whole the whole premise of the show was he would help struggling businesses right by giving them ideas and there was one business that he wanted to help it was a moving company and they said that labor was their biggest overhead so his solution was that he would get free labor by making it seem that being a mover was a good way to work out and he, they wrote a fake. New, like a fake book about working out by just lifting boxes and moving and then convinced people to go to the gym qu You know quote-unquote gym by volunteering for the moving company to move boxes around for them for free. It's a Good workout though <laughs> Like that would be a good workout. But they had to write a fake book and uh, <laughs> yeah. they hired this yeah, guy yeah. Who, was, who was actually doing who was actually working out to be the face for it So you'll have to do that too Chris. You'll have yeah, to yeah. write a book and then have Someone else <laughs> come out and be the face for it. Something mm. strange happened today. It was cold enough to stand outside. It I felt that was perfect outside. I, I took a phone call and I didn't come back in dripping with sweat. Yeah, I, I'll admit I was a little disappointed this morning <laughs> because uh, you know I woke up and I knew it was going to be cooler this morning. And I woke up and I looked at my phone and the temperature said it was like sixty eight degrees outside. And I was like, oh, it's going to be nice and cool out there. I was like, I better put a sweater on. I'm going to go walk my dogs. I put a sweater on and walked outside. I was like. It's not cool enough for a sweater. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's not that cool I did yet. The same. I was like, I'm gonna wear a long sleeve shirt today. The amount of people wearing it was long a, sleeves it was today a mistake. is a lot. Yeah, I think a lot of people had that same feeling. But it was still. I've got the shorts on, so I still had the breeze. So the I balance. Didn't, I didn't feel too hot. But yeah, it was really hot yesterday. I don't know what happened. It's like the middle of July yesterday for some reason. And then I, by the middle of the week, it's gonna be like the middle of July again. And then on the weekend, it's gonna be fall. <laughs> Our weather's doing this right now. Up and down. Yeah. It's doing I like a little wave downwards. This way down. Yeah, I, uh, I was just in New York City and that weather was top. Oh, it was nice and cool. Yeah, it was like in the, the low 60s, mid 60s. I don't 60s. know what that means. Uh, the... Why are you using Fahrenheit? Because I've lived here for you, eight you'd live years! Here. You've lived here a long time too, dude. I just can never figure it out. I'm not gonna I've be like, got my head around it. hey Gus, it's 35 degrees today and Gus is gonna be like, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but do you have it set to Fahrenheit on your phone? So, so yeah. when we woke up this morning, it was 20 C. Quite nice. Yes. Not sweater weather. And in the 60s, 60s Fahrenheit is what, like the, the low 10s? Like 11, 12 degrees? Somewhere. So 68 was 20. I can't believe so you down from to there. Fahrenheit. I switched to Fahrenheit within like the first six months of living here. <laughs> I because I, done that I also I'm switched confused. everything about myself when I moved here. <laughs> I stopped I, saying words a certain way. Yeah, I feel like I switched a ton of stuff, but Fahrenheit is like 50 years out of date at this point. The rest mm -hmm. of the world has stopped using it, and I just refuse to take a well, step backwards. New flash, you're in part of the world that yeah. still uses it. <laughs> I just, as stubbornness out of principle, I don't, I'm never doing I was it. About to say, I was about to say, well, what side of the road do you drive on? And I was like, never mind. You don't drive. <laughs> he doesn't drive. No what do you use um, for your home thermostat? Fahrenheit. Interesting. Because of Meg. Mm. But I only know about. You know, between like sixty nine and seventy four. Yeah, I don't know what that feels like. <laughs> Ooh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's Halloween. Get it? I was spooky. I was a ghost. I remember when planning your costume as a kid was like the most fun you could ever have pre Christmas. Uh, now that you're an adult, Halloween feels less Halloweeny. You know, right? 
You can have fun again picking out the perfect costume under your clothes with spooky prints and Halloween costume onesies from MeUndies. I really like how comfortable MeUndies are. I know we talk a lot about how soft the fabric is, and it really is, and they stay in place. Uh, and they're spookily soft, you could say. Get it? Halloween? <laughs> like, designed to be the best thing you've ever put on your body soft, like softer than a fluffy kitten dressed up in a pumpkin costume, like softer than brain zombies love to eat. No, no, it's probably no good. Probably a little too far. Uh, well, you get the idea. There are softest, they're the softest undies known to man. They're also available in sizes from extra small to 4X as soft for all. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners and viewers. For any first-time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping. To get 15% off your first pair, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash roosterteeth. That's MeUndies.com slash roosterteeth. Go now before I do my ghost impression again and scare you. So I had a dream. I hate talking about dreams because they're a complete waste of time. It's, it's almost like saying nothing. You might as well not even tell it. But I was, in a ho- I was in a hotel the other night. This was in real life. And I had a dream where I really needed a poo. And for some reason, I was like in the airport in the dream. And I was like, oh, there's the bathroom. And then you came up alongside me. Me? Yeah. You were walking alongside me and you were like, I really need a shit. And I was like, oh, but I re- Gus, I really need a shit. Can I go first? And then you just sped up. <laughs> So I so I was like, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna sprint because I really <laughs> yeah. need to go. So I just started sprinting and then you like went into this you know, abnormally fast, like above human level speed. You were just like <laughs> and I was like, no. And then, and then I woke up needing a shit and I was like, you're not here, Gus. <laughs> I just and went you to... turned on the lights of the bathroom and I was sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> but I went, I was like stumbling to the bathroom in the middle of the night, just thankful that you weren't there. <laughs> Because of my dream. Was it one of those dreams that you thought was real for a brief moment even after waking up? I was just like, fuck. That no, I, was, I instantly knew it was a dream and I was instantly relieved that I could not have to hold in. Did you have to the, shit when you woke up? Yeah. Yeah, it was I, I, the first I, time I've woken I, up to take a dump in years. Have you probably. ever shat yourself in your sleep? <laughs> oh, yeah, I did once. Because <laughs> I had food poisoning. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, that was another thing I sort of did. You shat yourself in your sleep? No, no. I, What's I, that? What are you talking about, then, dude? During, during, whenever, during the uh, the 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 diarrhea adjustment period. Adjustment period. <laughs> I like, like, did the you know, like, and I, this has not happened in, since I was like a kid. But I did uh, like a what I thought was like a, a fart, and I was like, whoop! I had to clean it up. Just a little bit, like just a little. Was bit. it at work? N- no. It was. was. It, it was. <gasps> no. 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 And it was. It was like. I, and I say, as in, like, it was like, oh, and I, that was is the smallest thing. And it's not like I need to change uh, clothing or anything. Oh. I like. I was like on it. Did you shawshank it out of your pants? No, it wasn't like that. <laughs> it wasn't like that. It was. It was like. It was like. It like bowls. <laughs> no, it was just like. It was just like a little. It was like, oh, hmm, that's a little. Like I, a like a little more wet than you. A little thought? more wet, and I'm so, like. So you're saying you just shat your cheeks, not your pants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, because it was like the smallest amount, but I was like, oof. Shat your cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> um, on the subject of, of going to the bathroom, though. Yeah. Uh, at, uh, after Jordan's wedding, mm-hmm. um, you might have heard this story. I don't know. Um, I was at Jordan's wedding. Yeah. So it was a, it was a, it was a good wedding. Everyone had a good time. Gus did a great job officiating. Gus did a good job. Very funny. I got drunk, but not like super drunk. Just like a normal, like into the wedding kind of. A normal open bar wedding situation. Okay. And uh, the uh, I I go home, go sleep, normal. Uh, I wake up and uh, the uh, uh, other someone. (laughs) <laughs> the guest, my guest to the wedding. This is a great like, story, Chris. No, no, you're, doing, you're doing awesome. My, uh, my guest uh, to the wedding uh, was like, uh, I can't believe you pissed on the floor last night. What? Oh my god. <laughs> and I was like, What are you talking? That's how I reacted. I said, What? Uh, I was like, She was like, Yeah, you you woke up in the middle of the night. I woke up because you were pissing on the floor. <laughs> and and I didn't was, stop you. And I was like, No, I didn't. And. She, and she was like, "Yeah, you were pissing on the floor." And then I, I asked what you were, why you were pissing on the floor, and you looked at me confused, and then went finished in the in the toilet. And I was like, "That did not happen." <laughs> and then I checked the floor, and it was wet. <laughs> so I think I did piss the floor. You think? <laughs> Someone told you you did. 
The floor was wet, and you only think you did? So, did you? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so then did you clean it? Yeah, yeah, I cleaned it. Did it smell like piss? I smelled it. It didn't smell. Yeah, I mean, it must have been pee. I, I, How is this so uncertain? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't remember it at all. But if you're cleaning piss off the floor, and someone I mean, told okay, you it's pissed probably on the me. floor. I, I, it's, I pissed so the floor. What area of the... what? So what you I just did... just got up and just pissed on nothing? So I got up from the bed and walked to the bathroom door. <laughs> but I didn't open the door. I just pissed on the carpet <laughs> next oh, to the oh, carpet. Oh, no. I thought it was hardwood. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Oh, fuck. So it was like... Like, basically, right before you walk in the bathroom, there's, there's, there was a, a, I pissed the floor. So, and then, they were like, why are you pissing the floor? You stopped peeing on the floor, pissed in the toilet. And then went back to bed. And had no memory of it. <laughs> so, you were really drunk then. I, I really wasn't though. You were. Maybe he was just really tired. I, maybe you were really The goofy. alcohol made him really tired? <laughs> Yes, and drunk. <laughs> well, because I have mem- it's not like I was blacked out, I have- You forgot you didn't remember this happened! Oh, no, no. I mean, I this is the of blacking remember, out! No, no, but I, I remember everything about the night, I remember going home, I- I took off my clothes, put away my suit, like, I was like- I pissed on the floor. <laughs> drank four gallons of water. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think I just got confused, I don't know. Was this in your own place? Yeah. So <laughs> it's not even like a case of being- Disoriented or yeah. anything? Yeah. Well, I, I got up and went towards the bathroom. <laughs> and that's what counts. Yeah, congratulations. Yes. You did it. You, you did most of the work. So I did. Really, that's what counts. Have you ever pissed the floor? No. Anyone else? No. I no. don't understand that behavior. I, 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 because one time I, I, when I was a kid, I peed in an oven. Um, I remember that. That's, I was yeah, trying to figure out like who it familiar, was who peed yeah. in the oven, and I forgot that that was you. Yeah. How many wrong places have you pissed? That's all I really have recollection but of. But he didn't remember peeing on the floor yeah. unless someone someone had to tell him that. It, I, this th could be an ongoing thing. I have peed on Two, the floor. But that is true. I, this could have happened before, and I would not have known. You just <laughs> you have one area of your it. carpet that's just like really for, yellow. For some reason, my carpet gets piss on it in the middle of the night yeah. sometimes. <laughs> I think there's a, ca a, a cat or a dog that's breaking into my house that's pissing on the floor. I, uh, I pissed on the floor while I was on the toilet. Yeah. Did you have what? an erection? Did you have an erection? No. Like it, it found yeah, yeah. out? No, it just was, uh, it's your I dick guess just maybe too like semi-ish. But it was, the knob was at the height where it went under the seat. Uh. The flow wasn't going down. Oh, right, because you oh, said to see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just splashed off yeah. between the two seats. I've... And it went, went all over the door in front of me. <laughs> I saw a video over the weekend <clears throat> of someone really drunk. It's like one of those public freakout videos on uh, on Reddit. Someone really drunk getting kicked out of a restaurant in the UK and standing there on the street and then piss just shooting out of his pants. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like through the pants. And he, he like reaches in and like pulls his dick out barely on the top and it's just shooting out. I was like, That's really he really had to go, man. It's just like, it shot straight through the pants. It must be so convenient having a dick when you need to pee. I mean, there's also like negatives great. too. Like it's, pissing I, through the toilet seat. I have an issue with my toilet. I thought you were saying you have an issue with your dick. Uh, well, well it, it involves my dick. Um, so I, I got a um, a little while ago. I got like a a, a nice bidet. Like you got one, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, like um, a toilet seat. A Mine broke though. Oh, really? Yeah. I had to get rid of it. Well, part of the, honestly, you got rid of it. I had to. It broke. The little nozzle that shoots the stuff was stuck out, and it was going. There's no <laughs> warranty or repair. That sounds like a. $20. It was a gift, so I didn't have anything. Okay. Um, but All like right. Zach <laughs> Anner, he's a huge, huge. Fan of bidets, and he was always like, "You got to get one, got to get one." <clears throat> so like, it was on sale at like Black Friday or something. So I bought one and I installed it, but and it it's great. I like it. It's nice, nice warm, he heated uh, seat and all that. Yep. The only issue is the shape of my toilet. Um, and after installing it, it kind of like pushes everything forward, you know. Uh, so it doesn't quite line up. So it doesn't quite line up, and so now whenever I sit on the toilet, my dick just kind of like it kind of rests on yeah, the um. Yeah. On the porcelain, on the porcelain, the part not, but not the not the seat part, but kind of like the bowl part, the bowl part, which I don't like. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> the shape of bidet or the shape of seat you have doesn't match the kind of toilet you have. No, no, it, yeah. do, it does match it. It's just Chris, because no, because Chris, it doesn't. It no, Chris, because there's two kinds. Chris, Chris, it doesn't. If it doesn't if it, fit, it, it doesn't. Match. Right. If it matched, you wouldn't be worried about your dick falling on the toilet. <laughs> well, bowl. it fits. It just, it just, Chris, <laughs> it doesn't fit. 
<laughs> I'm telling you right now, it is not fit. <laughs> take a picture tonight. I'll take a picture. Well, not with my dick in it, though. <laughs> not with... Obviously not. <laughs> well, how are we going to be able to tell what's wrong if your dick's not in the picture, Chris? How much do those asshole bog seats bidets? Well, they vary a lot. Oh, how much are they? Yeah. <laughs> I thought there was a follow-up question, like, how much do they suck or something like that? Oh. So I was waiting for it. Um, no. I think they range between, like, you probably get one for, like, 250 That's a to... nice one, though. You yeah. can get a shitty one oh, for, like, 25 bucks. Oh, you can get a shitty one for, like, <laughs> 50 bucks. <laughs> oh, okay. But, like, I think, like, the top-end ones are closer to, like, four I, or 500. I, when I renovated my house last year, uh, I replaced the toilets in it. And, uh... The whole I, toilet. Right, the whole toilet. Okay. I went down <laughs> to, like, a plumbing store down in South Austin, and I thought... I want to see what the fanciest toilet in here is. So I was like, I walked around. They have, like, this store is, it's got, it's probably, it's got toilets. If you imagine all of stage five filled with toilets, like that's how many toilets are, like are in the Toto, showroom. Toto, like UV misting bog right. thing. So I found like this Toto toilet that had, it like, it had lights built into it. So when you came near it, they kind of like came on and illuminated the floor in a really dim way. It played music. It had a remote, had a bidet built in. How much was it? $12,000. Oh my what? God. I was like. Uh, who pays twelve thousand dollars for a fucking toilet? Dude, that's you, like fuck you money. I would then be like trying to basis. figure out like what age am I going to be when I die? How many times am I going to dump between now and then? And figure out how much it's costing me every time yeah. I it's like, shit in that yeah. only toilet. That is, that's a that's a, a car. that's a decent used car. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> are you going to finance a fucking toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, there's like there were like eighty dollar toilets too, like on the other side of the room. Oh, sh we should get one. No, <laughs> just one. Eric buy us a twelve thousand dollar toy. <laughs> but if, if broadcast only is allowed to use it, did you yeah. did you sit on it? I did sit on it. How was it? It was fine. I mean, I, I, it's not like <clears throat> sitting on a twelve thousand dollar toilet is much better than sitting on a a normal toilet. Yeah, yeah, I think it's one of those things where like the the price just does that, and you don't see a ton. Like I'm sure a five hundred dollar toilet seat. Or like a thousand dollar toilet would be great. To I think the the cheapest toilet they probably had in there was just like a hammer, so you could just make a hole in your ground. Maybe a shovel. Do you <laughs> dig with a hammer? You got to crack the the floor. I think you made a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> you got to you got to break the floor, and then you could shovel it out. A hammer and a shovel. Are you talking about smashing the floor of your bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, not just like out in the fucking. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, I meant of an existing bury bathroom. Bury the body! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take all night. Yeah, smash it into little pieces first. Oh man, um... Yeah, that's uh, that's ridiculous. So how are you enjoying it? Uh, I did not get that toilet. I got a... What did I... I think I got a $300 toilet. Ooh. It's totally fine. That's yeah. gotta be one of those things where, the, like, there's some level of rich, you know, where you... Have more money than you could possibly spend in your lifetime. So every time you're like, yeah, just give me the best one. Yeah, it's like it's like when you've just used the cheats in The Sims over and over again, and you're like, I'll just get the most expensive bog, the most expensive yeah, yeah. shower, but for no reason otherwise, uh, you know, other than it's just expensive. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure there's like so there's people who are just like, just get the most expensive one, right? Yeah, and it's like then then the manufacturer will of course make one to serve that market. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, someone wants one that costs we got this much. one. <laughs> I always think about stuff like that that are like common objects that are so expensive to the point where it's like there's like 0.00001% of the world that is able to buy this and like how that is even in the market. Yeah, so that is able to buy and then would actually, would actually buy. buy. You're also buying something that like with a 12 grand toilet, you better live in that house for a long time. What are you going to do? Take the toilet with you? I would yeah. take it. Really? Yeah. That's gonna if, cost if, more. If, if I it doesn't cost twelve thousand dollars. So yeah, you but if you're the type of your person, toilet? if you're the type of person who's gonna spend twelve thousand dollars on a toilet, you, would you also be the person who you're like, I I gotta take this with me? Well, that's that's the point I'm making is that I think people who are spending twelve grand on toilets might have a few of them. They definitely don't care if they're gonna leave one behind. See, no one's I, like, I'm gonna save up for this toilet. If yeah. I had a house where I bought a twelve thousand dollar toilet that I installed in that house. And then I went to go sell that house. I would include that in the price of the house. I would say like it's an extra twelve thousand dollars on the listing because there's a fucking twelve thousand dollar toilet. Uh, it's in that great I bought. condition. I mean, I shat on it a lot. But yeah, it's still really but good. Ups the value of the place, <laughs> big time. Oh, guys, I think the I think the price on that toilet's come down since then. What is it now? I'm still trying to figure it out. But it, look, it looks like it might be eight thousand dollars now. Whoa! We sh what a deal! Oh no no no! We'd be back. dumb not to. It's it's ten thousand four hundred dollars now. Can you find a used one? <laughs> a second-hand shitter. 
Is it on Amazon? Uh, that's a good question. Let's find <coughs> out. Amazon. Remember, I tried to find the most expensive thing we could get shipped on Prime on Amazon once. Okay, Toto. Uh, uh, we also, we're also looking at the, the heaviest thing you can ship. Right. You know, it's like a four-ton lathe or something. A what? Lathe. La I said lathe. La la what? Like a piece industrial of machine machining oh. equipment. Oh, what is this? I think I found it for cheaper on Amazon with free shipping. <gasps> Ooh. How oh, much? Wait. <clears throat> it's okay. They ha I think they have it used here, Eric. Yeah. New from ninety five hundred dollars. <laughs> used seventy one seventy nine sixty. All right. <laughs> seventy one seven thousand one hundred seventy nine dollars and sixty cents. So you're buying something that other people have. Shat in or, for seven or it's like a or they bought model. it and it then decided not to. What if we just it? have a whip round here and you can just sign up? And if we get like 50 people to sign up, we all split the cost, Chip but in. only those 50 people can take dumps. In it. I like that. I think <laughs> we should do that. So <laughs> if ten thousand dollars divided by 50 people is 200 bucks a pop, I'll do it. I'll fucking I'll drop 200 bucks to, to yeah, use that toilet at work. You're, you're, to you're paying 200 dollars to poo at work, but I, like. But you gotta get indefinitely, 50. right? You gotta get fifty people in on that, and it's gonna be a Easy. fucking line. <laughs> fifty no people. Gonna, if you need a quick dump, you're right. gonna be like, "Oh, I want to wait." For fifty my people life. are gonna be lined up for that one toilet. Not and, everyone. And where would it go too? There's but, like, well, obviously, in, in where we work. There's a lot of people though that shit in the morning or at night, not necessarily during the day. So not, I don't think all fifty people would use it every single day. Wait, you'd put it in the in your office? Well, yeah, I'm not gonna walk for it. But more people work over here. I don't care. That's their problem. But, why do you get to decide? Because I just said so. I was the first person to say it. But it was my idea. Well, you should have said something. Damn it. Yeah. That's the way it works, dude. Man, arguments aren't what they used to be on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, so the Toto Neo Rest NX2 NX2? Dual Flush Toilet is $13,000, says Peter Hayes. It was the Toto my Neo God. Rest I was looking at. Uh, I don't know if it was that <clears> one. The NX2 NX2 Dual, dual flush. flush. I was looking at a 750, What's a I think. Dual Flush. It might be the kind that has like, a light flush and then a heavy flush. Yeah, like the the poo and pee buttons. Right. The first time I ever saw that was in Israel. And the I was poo very and impressed. pee. Like it's like two buttons on the toilet. One's smaller, one's bigger. Yeah, I mean, I hadn't yours seen that. Have that? Mm. Uh, mm, no, a lot, I've yeah. never I'd never seen that until I went there. I'd never seen one in America or Canada until mm. that. I which I know they have them there. I've seen them in America plenty of times, like, I like in hotels, all the time now. I have yeah, a toilet. I feel like all of the ones like that efficient. You, you have to buy in Austin. I think you have to install one of those now. Because the one I ended up getting has that. And I fucking hate it. Why? I never I never use the light flush. Why? The light what flush, if you just do a wee? It doesn't work. What are you the doing water that? comes back yellow. <laughs> you have to hold it down more? I don't know. It's like, I know it didn't flush, right? I still see some. You just have the most saturated piss that uh, the half flush doesn't get rid of it. It's like, I, it's, it, well, it comes out like gel. My half flush doesn't work well either. Because it looks like it flushes, but then you come back later to use it, and it smells like piss. Right. <laughs> so, so I never use I never use that function. Yeah. I've been trying not to flush as much. Oh, go on. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't need to flush when it's on your carpet, <laughs> <laughs> or when you're diarying at work. No. Uh, I uh, like when I'm just peeing. I'm trying to like be more environmentally conscious. So uh, if I if I pee and I'm like, eh, it doesn't, it's not like it's. If I'm hydrated, it's not stinky, so I'll just like wait till like, I'll pee a couple times and then I'll flush. Uh, how many? Like, how many times? Depends on the pee. Like piss stacking. Yeah, yeah. It depends on on my how how hydrated I am. If I'm hydrated, then it's fine. But if it's like, uh, if I if I'm dehydrated, then I'm like I'm gonna flush. This. Are you doing that at work? No, I don't do it at work. Okay. This is only at home. Okay. I don't give me those eyes, Barb. I I, I flush it. I flush. I'm just thinking. Yeah, but sometimes you, Chris, sometimes you don't put the seat down. I know, and I, but but I've been trying to be better about that. You, you called have. me, you, you you mentioned it, and I have, I have been uh, thinking about it. I, I think, appreciate that. Yeah. Wait, so you caught him leaving the seat up? Chris is the, it was, it's somehow in an office full of how many? We have like ten or fifteen dudes in there. Chris is the only one that leaves it up, which is like equally impressive. Well, I was. Though you were leaving it up, and it's impressive to me that everyone would put it down. I was actually like shocked. I've been married for thirteen years. Yes, I understand you doing it. Yeah, and I see. I, I'm like Trevor always puts the seat. I, down. I just see no need to pull the seat up. Well, because you sit down. Because I mean, but why? Why not just sit down? Oh well, because well, because that way you never have to clean splashes, and it's always down already. You don't, I don't have to touch the toilet. So you sit unless down you have to a pee? half chub. Yeah, why not? 
because well, one, your dick rests on the and <laughs> only if it doesn't. <laughs> and, and, We've gone over this. And two, and two. Uh, well, I don't, I don't, I don't want to sit on the toilet seat if I don't have to. Because what if it's like dirty and I have to clean it? What if it's clean and you don't have to clean it? I don't know. I just don't want to sit. I don't want to put my butt on places where people put their butt Chris, more than I need Chris. to. Do you just squat above the bog? No, I do do you it. Shit but that's a, you shit yourself at work, no, Chris. No, that's I I, I, sit, I I sit when I need to, but I'm not gonna unnecessarily sit. You know, the toilet seat's actually fairly clean. For it, fairly. I'm not saying it's dirty, but I'm just saying I don't want to put my butt places where other people put their butt if I don't. Need to. But I also I don't pick up food and put it in my mouth with my butt. Like I'm not using my butt for clean things. Like what if the fair what point? If, what fair if your point. Under butt is got some other people's butts on it. You have a shower later. It's fine. Also, it's like it's just touching other people's also <laughs> under butts, which haven't touched anything. <laughs> Like, unless you shit your cheeks, as you did before. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was one time, and that was a very small amount. Good call, Barbara. Chris, yeah. keep standing. This episode of Received Podcast is brought to you by Ring. Ever wonder how many people actually pass your door every day while you're not home? Ring's mission is to make neighborhoods safer, and with the seasons changing and school in session, it's more important than ever to keep an eye on your home and those you love. Ring helps you stay connected to your home anywhere in the world, so if there's a package delivery or surprise visitor, you'll get an alert and be able to see, hear, and speak to them all from your phone. You can even make sure your children make it to the bus on time, get home safe at the end of the day. I like I can see who's at my door without leaving my couch or from my desk or from traveling. I can check in at any time. It's great to have that kind of security for my place. Uh, the other day, someone rang my doorbell and I was too lazy to go answer the door. So I talked to them from my phone. It's awesome. Uh, as a listener and viewer, you have a special offer on Ring Starter Kit available right now with a Ring Video Doorbell, two motion-activated floodlight cams. The Starter Kit has everything you need to start building a ring of security around your home. Just go to ring.com slash teeth. That's ring.com slash teeth. Additional terms may apply. Ring.com slash teeth. Thanks to Ring for sponsoring this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Touch your shitty and you pee in the shower. I do pee in the shower all so the time. So wait, your, your, one, your half flush pisses smell, but you still pee in the shower? Yeah, because it goes down the drain. And then I don't smell it anymore because it's gone. It just feels gross. Do you still keep washing yourself as you're peeing? Like, or like washing your hair and you're like pissing? Or do you like, I mean, like <laughs> stop how long, and do stand you, and just pee? How long do you think my pees are? They're like, like 15 seconds. So I, you don't, you stop then and I, you just pee? Yeah. I'll, I'll just like pee and kind of let the water run and then like I'll keep Have washing. You ever been, I wonder if it's more wasteful. Uh, to do that and waste the water of the shower versus a, a toilet. Probably. Toilet. A question for you guys, you fucking insane psychopaths. Are you <laughs> literally every second of your shower washing something? There's never a moment you're just enjoying the water or standing there for a second. Correct. I'm, I'm the in The second you get in, you're just like, yeah, pretty I mean, much. It's I, not I, a race, but I'm not wasting time. Yeah. Like, if I'm, I'm all clean, I don't just like stand under it. You don't like do this for like two seconds. No. <laughs> or just like, like not in a shampoo commercial. If you're like rinsing stuff off of you, you're just letting it wash over you gently. No, like, I'm like, boom, bam, get it done. Fucking psychos. It's like you gotta get. You yeah, gotta we're get the up. psychos. You gotta start the day. Yes. You're outnumbered. By a bunch of psychos. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a good. That's like a crazy person. Everyone else is crazy. Well, we've done multiple polls about it. I think most people still pee in the shower. I mean, it sometimes. Was close, yeah. Sometimes if I wanna chill out, I will take a cheeky little bath. Okay, which and is just I would say even more there. filthy than peeing in the shower. I'm not peeing in the bath. I know that you, but you're like soaking in your own filth, and then you're not rinsing it off. No, I do rinse it off because my bath doesn't have a thing, a shower head. Yeah, mm. so go get out and shower anyway. What if I do all the after a bath, you'll take a shower, just a rinse. A well, rinse, that's, huh? That's just like so a you're not washing yourself in the shower. I'm rinsing off all the shampoo and shit. <laughs> Barbara, very smug, takes a sip of her beer. A lot of people in the chat are with me. I'm just <coughs> saying, you guys aren't the real MVPs. I mean, I don't think it's evil or anything to pee in a shower. It's just me and Trevor just both pee in the shower, and don't we, both pee in it. We well, not at the same together? time. We don't shower together, but he, we'll do this thing because I could see the shower from the sink, and he'll do this thing where he's just like, just don't look for a second because I'm peeing right now, and I'll be like, okay, because you don't want to see. Piss coming out of his penis. Right. Oh, I think that's a, that's a step too far. Is it? Do, <laughs> I think so. Do you? Uh, like, so when you would never pee in front of each other, like you wouldn't leave the door open and sit down and pee. 
not to a point where you could see each other. I've left the door open when I'm peeing. Like, he could hear me. I don't give a fuck. But it's just, like, the seeing it, I think, is a little different. Yeah, I don't want to see pee. I, th- I always thought you were all about, like, just taking dumps and... <laughs> that's my mo. Yeah, that's, that's what I think about Barbara. Always taking dumps. You know her. <laughs> no, I mean like uh, that kind of stuff. I don't do in fr- like we don't do it in front of each other, but like we're very much aware of when that's happening. Like, You're aware of it. You like signal. No, we just like tell each other like All right, I gotta go poop. You can hear the grunting. No. <laughs> 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 no, we close the door for shit. <laughs> I'm I'm always pretty secretive about mine. You sneak off? Well, like, if I'm, like, with a, you know, significant other uh, female. What about it? Because you had a pretty long relationship a while ago. <clears throat> Even in that one, you guys were pretty secretive about it? I mean, I wasn't, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, I never talked about it, and I was, like. You save that for the podcast. Yeah. I, I, well, it's just, like, it's a weird thing to be, like, I'm going to go over here and, like, poop. I don't yeah. know. It's, like, not sexy. We don't have to be sexy around someone 24 hours a day, dude. That's exhausting. I know. I'm just, I'm not saying I, w- I wouldn't hide it at a certain point. Right. But it was definitely not something I like talked about. I wouldn't be like, I'm going to go doo doo, you know? Like, I, I, I would just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go d- do the do. D- 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 like, <laughs> I'm going I'm to go destroy the toilet. Be right back. Yeah. I mean, I, I think at first, like when we started dating each other and, and that was happening, it would just be like, uh, I'm going to go use the bathroom for a bit. Right. Like you wouldn't actually fall out being like, I'm going to go <clears throat> drop a load. So BRB in Wink. 10. Um, but now that's what we definitely do. It's taking some time to warm up, which I think like if you're in a long enough relationship, that happens. Right. I, yeah. You realize that you're dating an actual human being or you're with an actual human being. Right. And I, I never agreed with the whole like, oh, there's got to be some mystery. It's just like, nah, dude, this is the person you're spending all your time with potentially for the rest of your life. Like, you got to just be a human. Mm-hmm. And uh, if that jeopardizes the relationship in any way, like. If taking a dump jeopardizes the relationship. Yeah. You got some really bad dumps. I don't know if that's a good person. (laughs) You got to change your diet. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Someone just called me Fat Turd (laughs) Dumpleman. I like it. Fart Uh, Turd. Oh, oh, oh. (laughs) Not much better. No. (laughs) Um, So I I was reading about something the other day. I'm going to get to that in a second. I was reading about something the other day. Was it a shit? I'm gonna, I'll give him to get to it that oh. in a second. So, and it, it affected me so much that I dreamt about it that night. It was on Saturday. Uh, I'm going to tell you the dream first. Was Gavin racing you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I dreamt that we were on set. We were on a location and we were going to be filming something. Uh, I don't remember who specifically was there, but I know it was like Rooster Teeth people were there. And, you know, we were getting ready that there was someone else was filming in a room. Like we had rented a house and we were going to be filming in like the living room, but somebody else was filming in there first before us. And then they were about to break down and leave. And then we were going to go in and film. I was like, okay, so, you know, we're all just kind of waiting out in the hallway to go in. The other people get out and leave. And uh, Judge Judy walks out (laughs) with them. And I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. So then we walk in and it's it's a living room with like a fireplace and stuff. And then uh, whoever it is is in charge, like, all right, everyone, uh, we need to get set. We're going to be filming a Judge Judy episode in here later. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? And I woke up. And the reason I was thinking about that is earlier in the day, I had read that people in the Judge Judy audience, like when you watch that show, they all have to be members of the Screen Actors Guild. That they don't let, like... (laughs) They're all SAG? They're all SAG members. They don't let just anybody go in and sit in the Judge Judy courtroom. You have to be a SAG member to be in it. So, obviously, I texted Eric immediately, and I was like, you have to get me on Judge Judy. (laughs) You have to submit a three-minute demo reel, (laughs) an audition tape... Are you you just sitting there? ...to be on the Judge Judy (laughs) show. So, I was like, Eric, will you please film me and help me make a three-minute audition tape so I can be on (laughs) Judge Judy? (laughs) So I was thinking about it all day Saturday, <laughs> and it got to the point where it infected my mind, about, and I was God. dreaming about it. It was like 11 at night, and I got yeah. a message from Gus. Hey, I want to be in Judge Judy. I have to be SAG. Can you help me film a three-minute video? Uh, all right. Yeah, because you, you are, are SAG. How are getting you in SAG? Yeah, I am in SAG. He's a SAG. Oh, this is great. We're going to film this video. We're I'm, getting you back I'm there. Set. Can we double up? I'm in it, too. 
Let's do it. Yeah, we'll, right. sub we'll submit YouTube. Why, why do you need Eric to help you make a video? You can't Because we, then we can like film BTS stuff and have it be like a thing for the podcast. And we're constantly <laughs> oh, updating okay. and, and like it, it'll be a, a bit. Why don't we just segment. record it now? Let's put three minutes on the clock. I don't know what I'm, I haven't prepared my material. Yeah, you have to look interested. Ooh. Oh, and what we, sh if we do it, you should actually go to, you should go to an actual courtroom and then be like, you, Get you, actual you, experience. you did, yeah. you did a, um, uh, uh, research like, for the role. Yeah, 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 like a case study. And you, you like. have to practice this face a lot. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that on a lot of episodes. We can go to the Capitol and we can just film you there. That's a, that's a good idea. Mm. See, that's why I looped Eric in. Yeah. It's those kinds of ideas. <laughs> He's got that big brain on him. Uh, but I guess they said that it's easier for them to give direction to a big group of people if they're actors who have, like, have actually done stuff. Like, they'll uh, sit sense. there and like, take direction and be quiet or whatever get, they need them to do. If you've done eno enough work as an extra, do you get SAG? Or is it only, like, If featured? you've been in enough productions, yeah. Okay. Even if you had no lines or anything like that? I don't know the specific rules. Okay. I had to join because I was on just too many things that were SAG. Yeah. Like, at midnight and... Mm. Tonight show. I got, that's, I what got pushed me over show. The, that's what pushed me over the edge. Yeah, yeah. being on that. I, I don't, I don't I want to be in sack. <laughs> yeah, you, you get forced into it, right? You do eventually if you do enough. I got a letter after we did at midnight that was just like, you're almost there. And I'm just like, fuck, now I have to be in nothing else. Yeah. And then I'm if you drunk. go in something else, then it's like, hey, you want to pay like, thousands of dollars? It's, $4, not, that, dollars, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It, well, I mean, it's completely. It, well, how's it not that bad? But, I mean, it's expensive. It's, but then, but it's then, a tenth of a toilet. <laughs> it's a tenth of a toilet. And then you get to be on Judge Judy. <laughs> and you get residuals. Sure. Yeah. So it's nice to it's get. A, a, it, wait. Do the do the do the extras on Judge Judy? I don't Judy think get they do for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. Every think time they, do. they air that, <laughs> bought the wrong thing on eBay episode. I'll, I'll do that. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> it is funny wah? though, getting like a twelve dollar check every time at midnight comes on or something. <laughs> This episode of the Receipt Podcast is brought to you by Stamps.com. One of the toughest parts of making and selling products online is the shipping. No one really wants to deal with the hassle. You're busy. Who's got time for all that traffic, parking, lugging your mail and packages? That's why you need Stamps.com. Stamps.com brings all of the amazing services of the U.S. Postal Service right to your computer. Stamps.com is a faster and more convenient way to get postage. You can use your computer to print official U.S. postage for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send it, and the mail carrier picks it up. So no more lugging it to the post office. It's the absolute best. So no equipment at lease and no long-term commitments. It's a must-have for any small business. Uh, I use stamps.com because I love how easy it is. I don't have to take time out of my day to plan for a trip to the post office. I can just get official postage right from my own computer. And with stamps.com, you get five cents off every first-class stamp and up to 40% off of priority mail. Right now, our listeners get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. See for yourself why over 700,000 small businesses use Stamps.com. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, type in Rooster. That's Stamps.com, enter code Rooster. Thank you, Stamps.com, for sponsoring this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast. Um, yeah, so that's like, that was my obsession all day Saturday. Sorry, it boiled over and I How had to, to text to you on at Judge Judy. 11 o'clock at night, Eric. How about we plan this out? You try to get a job as an extra on Judge Judy, like a courtroom audience member, and I try to get on Judge Judy, like some petty submitting a case. Yeah, who left the toilet seat? <laughs> who, who, who peed <laughs> on my carpet? carpet. <laughs> you owe me two hundred dollars in damages, Let's or whatever it. it would be. Yeah, you got you got to start a beef with someone. We should uh, we should do that for easy. Yeah, I got an idea. We'll make a series out of it. Right. So if you get on that show, do they just shoot a bunch of episodes in a day? I think they shoot two or three in a day. So they had like a, they had all the information online. Uh, that show, I think it said that show's been on since 1996. It's too long. It's a, fuck, it's a long fucking time. You, do you think that we'd have done all the cases by then? <laughs> How old is Judge Judy? Because if they started in 96 and they're still going, she's still... 76. <clears throat> she looks the go. exact same. Yes, yeah, she does. Which I don't know if is a good thing or a bad thing. Like if she looks seventy six when they started, <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> if he looks at her first appearance, <laughs> she doesn't look the <laughs> same. Judy, nineteen ninety six. Uh, you, you can't really tell because it was like standard def back then, so it's yeah. all possible. <laughs> just blurs. It's hard to tell. Holy shit! Yeah. So there's there's like eight K TVs coming out. Yeah. When when will this end? It doesn't. I mean, Never. eventually, 
it'll just be like film, right? Where it's like no one's counting the grains in film. Yeah, but it's you just, can't you can't deliver that via digital. Well, I mean, at some point it's going to be a number high enough where that's not what they talk about anymore. It's like, oh, 32 bit gaming system. Or it's like, and no one gives a shit about how many bits your gaming system is now. Or even like on cameras, like really people don't care about megapixels anymore. Like, yeah. It's like, it doesn't matter. 8K must be the last one where, where like, I that's, thought 4K was it. I, I think 4K is solid. I mean, even some movies aren't even shot in 4K. Yeah, we're still largely living <clears> in a 2K world. We bitch about this all the time. And, if if you think about it, I think maybe a lot of people don't realize that 8K is not double the number of pixels in a 4K frame. 8K is four times the resolution of 4K. Yeah, yeah, because it's eight horizontally, it's four, right? Or so, eight vertically. Well, 8K HD would be like seven six something. Well, like like 4K is 3.8K in UHD, isn't it? Because it's 3840 yeah, by 2160. Yes. Yes. In it. In it. Yes. <laughs> 38, 40. All right, because they do that way. 38, 40, 21. I see what you're saying. The K is just the horizontal. Right. Dude, why, why do they switch to that? Because it used to be 1080. We used to do vertical, and then we yeah, switched to well, horizontal. 1080, 1080 was too, well, it's like a skinnier 2K, isn't it? So it's still like 2K atop, across the top. Right, but why, why, why did we <laughs> switch? We, do, we weren't saying that. I don't know. But I, I think if I was going to predict... Above 8K, I don't think they'll be selling on resolution anymore. I don't think even if even if screens become higher resolution than 8K, I don't, I don't think, think they'll be like, oh, buy this 10K TV. I don't know if any actor would want to appear on a fucking eight or 10K TV. You'd look like shit. That, yeah, well, that is a thing. Like a lot of like whenever things went to HD, a lot of like <clears throat> like local news and just like things, they had to like change how they did their makeup. Yeah. And, like, yeah, I spoke and to a guy once who was mad that he had to wax his hands for HD. <laughs> his hands were too heavy. Like <laughs> on the knuckles or like on the... Just like, I guess like around here. I, oh, I guess, yeah. I've got, I've got hairy hands. Yeah, like you would be... <laughs> I'm a prime candidate for waxing. <laughs> like, Although this my spot. favorite thing about Gus is that... <laughs> what, like this right here? You have this nervous habit of chewing on she, your skin. You see my little ball patch? And you have right a little there? ball patch, yeah. In there? Yeah. <laughs> you chew on your hands? Yeah, see how I bite the like hair? A, like a puppy. You see how it's really thick everywhere <laughs> yeah. except right there and right there? <laughs> like so, a puppy. So you see me like that? That's what I'm doing. Oh, we had a close up there. Oh, for the hands. Up? Where was it? No. Well, it's, Bam. It's that one. Yeah. Right. This is what we're talking about. That's hairy country, and this is and the ball patch. patch. I don't know. You I see it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I remember getting into an argument with um with Brandon way, way long time ago because he was saying like, why do we? Why are we making new porn? Oh God. And this, 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 do you remember this? this sounds, I, I feel like Brandon's here. <laughs> this is such on brand for yeah. Brandon. And I, he was like, "Why do we? Why? Unbranded. Like, why are we making new porn? It seems like w there should be enough porn film that like it's enough. We'll for, satiate. Yeah, like how how much porn can one person? <laughs> but why porn? Why didn't that apply to movies? It's like, oh, well, there's there's loads of movies. Well, I think they, I mean I think there's like less variation in 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 narratives and and. I think you're you're. You're looking for a number of things that probably already exist and yeah, just, it's like yeah. just variations of the same thing I wish I guess kind of movies, but anyway and my and part of the thing is I was like well It's res like if you go look at porn from uh, You know 1995 it looks like butt. well here let, let me, let me a good word to use for that. <laughs> well, they should just rescan well, some of the old negatives that were shot on film, like seventy. Well, porn. some of that yeah. that would that'd probably HDFI these days. Yeah, but like I was trying to make a flip book porn <laughs> So I decided to look on Pornhub cool. to see, it's for work, <laughs> to see what cool. like hot porn videos in the United States right now. Uh, hot hot step aunt babysits hot disobedient videos. nephew. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> big booty twins team up on step bros huge cock. <laughs> so that's why it's all incest stuff now. It's all incest stuff. But, yeah, but, but only by, <laughs> <laughs> but not timing. by blood. Not by blood. Well, not that, not that they'd be by blood anyway, because it's fictional, but the story-wise is never like, Come in my panties and pull them up during family dinner. 4K. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's only in 4 It's not in 8K? <laughs> <laughs> Why during dinner? Why during- Well, because, you know, it's a family affair. Uh, no. Oh, that's a good one. That's really good. Thank you, guys. That was really funny. Thank you. I've been honing my skill for many years. 
Okay, that's enough of that. I there have been things where it's like you you like uh click on a thumbnail cuz you like like the thumbnail and then the storyline <coughs> starts and you're like, "Oh, this is weird." You know what's like, you know what you'll like, Chris? Huh. Let me give you a little uh, in. There's a there's a website uh porn website where if you hover over, it's probably a lot of them do it. You hover over and it shows you uh like kind of the sequence of what it does. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like what happens no, in that video. Yeah, yeah, that's Pornhub. It's also <laughs> Uh, ujiz.com ujiz is another one that does that. Do you use a different porn site than Pornhub? Yeah. Ujiz. Ujiz. Every now and then. I like to change it up. Mix it up. Never heard of that. But like... Find some new content. But yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's look. Ujiz. What's popular on Ujiz? <laughs> I just want to know if it's the same stuff or not. Yeah, it's like, wow, this video is trending on all the major yeah. networks. Mm -hmm. Behind the husband. Okay. My favorite. That's my favorite one. Um, okay, this is a, a, a family one in Spanish. What does it say? Tío consuela a sobrina que terminó con, un, con el novio. And what does that mean? Uh, <coughs> uncle consoles his niece who broke up with her boyfriend. Oh, Another with, family with affair. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Her shaved pussy makes a dick disappear. <laughs> 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 so I'm done. I'm done. That's it. <laughs> Ta-da! Uncle, I have a magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> Just not into that. Like, what is it? Why is it? All so, like, like if you're horny, you might based. be like, yeah, I'm into this. And then you yeah. might be, if you're like here, like just reading, you're like, I don't want any of this. It's like going to Olive Garden when you're not hungry. Yeah, baby, like abracadabra, <laughs> make that dick disappear, shit girl. <laughs> I love pretending I got no dick. <laughs> okay. Gross. Anyway, let's talk about something else. Well, porn mm. friends are interesting, I guess. I um, I saw a video earlier today. Was it an AK? It was not. It was security camera footage. It was at a, um, uh, a hair salon in New Jersey. And oh. The, <laughs> there's like, the, the camera's just like pointing in the lobby and you can see like a guy getting his hair cut. There's uh, the barber is cutting his hair. There's a woman waiting out like in the lobby sitting on the couch. Seems like a normal hair salon. Everyday thing. And then all of a sudden, a deer jumps in through the window, <laughs> jumps over the woman on the couch, starts running around the salon. The man starts screaming like crazy. <laughs> and then like the deer causes a bunch of damage and then just runs right back out. <laughs> and the woman sitting on the couch is like dumbfounded. Like she stands up. Like I can't imagine how you would react. A deer jumps over you. She like grabs her coffee and like stands up and well, starts so looking at it. in New Jersey? Right. Yeah, I've is seen this. Is that a common place for deer? I don't know. But I also watched the end of the clip and the woman who was in there just starts crying. Really? Crying. Did, you, did you watch to the end? I guess I didn't see that part. Where she's like, ah, and like, oh, no, no, try to get it out. And then it goes out and then it just card, card cuts to like a few minutes later. She's like, <laughs> I didn't see that I one. I because guess. it trashed her business. Yeah. You also, know, just it's like fucking scarring. Like, I'd be fucking terrified if that happened to me. What if it turned out it was from a rival uh, barbershop? <laughs> And that, like that would be a, a great crime. No one would be able to. But how would you Chris. get a deer? You can't pay a deer. <laughs> All right, are you ready to execute on I'm Operation saying, like, Oh could, Deer? It, it, no one could be. Like, I would have gone to Operation Buck Wild. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's that's better, good. Because <laughs> like no one, if, if you're like, no, it's definitely the rival barber shop. You'd be like, no, it wasn't. It's a deer. I have no control over animals. But if you had trained a deer to go, oh, in... no one ever suspects a deer. <gasps> oh shit. Oh fully, my god. Oh my god. It like sm smashed that it, that was so close to hitting that woman in the head. It clear it, I, I mean it, it looked like it hit her. I think it does hit her. But yeah, she just goes back and grabs whatever she was drinking. Oh my god. Yeah, this the woman that uh, is. <laughs> And it's still in there. It's still in there. He's like I, and then it goes out a different <laughs> it goes out the door that time. What do you think that deer thought? Right? It was like have no Did, do you think the deer idea. was running at a deer, like the reflection of He's, itself, and it just went through? Oh, that's interesting. Or but, maybe it was just a car outside that scared it. Oh, maybe. I think it was probably, yeah, just kind of freaking out a little bit. Holy shit. That's intense. I can I imagine, I like, imagine it would be like if you were sitting here right now, and then all of a sudden a deer jumped in from over behind that you. That would make yeah. great <laughs> content. <laughs> That'd be great. I love security cameras. Imagine all the stuff that we missed out on when they didn't exist. You guys get a lot of good stuff from the Achievement Hunter office on your little camera in there. Yeah, I mean that's 
out of the ordinary. That's not a normal room. Oh yeah, of course. Right. When uh, we were still down at the uh, the studio down south at the old location, we had security cameras, and I remember one time I called a security company over because I said I wanted to upgrade our cameras because I thought if something funny happens, I want to yeah. be able to pull we security. We had that footage. conversation. I was like, we should have, we should have HD ones. Right, and you know this is before you could buy cameras yourself to do that kind of thing. So I called the security company over, and I was like, I want to replace all the cameras <laughs> with HD cameras. And they're like, okay, yeah, we can do that. I said, and I want them all to capture sound. And I guess like. He was like, oh, no, we can't do that. Like, that was where they draw the line. Like, they couldn't install that kind of system. Even though any home security system has sound. I have no idea. I was like, you can't install a camera that can capture HD video and will also capture sound. He's like, oh, no, no, we can't. <laughs> we can't do that. So I think we ended up not doing anything. It was like, no, we'll just keep the shitty cameras there. <laughs> I, I also remember, you, like, he could, he was really struggling to get anything in HD, too. Like, he... You were like, I want HD, and then he gave you a quote, and it was all SD stuff. Right. And you were like, but we well, already have that. Like, <laughs> I wanted HD. Right. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. This was back, might have been 2012, 20, yeah, it must have been yeah. like 2012 or so. It's crazy. I guess technology's come a long way since then, maybe. Yeah. Now with sound. Now with sound. <laughs> now in HD. That's always a, I mean, it sucks. I guess, like, storage is always a concern, and just making sure that everything runs all the time. I mean, you have to keep everything. Right. Yeah. Because most of the systems, don't they, like, save it for, like, a week and then they <coughs> delete it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, unless you, like, unless pick you something go, yeah. out and save it. Yeah. Oh, oh, well. Yeah, you could save clips and stuff like that. How do you get a deer out of a building? What is the correct way to do that? I think just get, get out, out of, the of the way and wait for it and to find it. its way out. You open the door and let it out? That's what I do whenever I get a bug in my place. I just, like, try to guide it towards the window or the door, and then I'm just, I just, like... Point, even you though that's not true. I'm just bug? like, I'm just like, go. Well, it's more for like my own mental sake. I'm just like, there, go. <laughs> uh, the other day, I'm hesitant to tell the story, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. The other day, I was, uh, I was at a get together with this this person I know. You got together with someone? Yeah, I'm not gonna get into the specifics because I'm gonna badmouth someone that was there. <laughs> Do we know this person? No, you don't know this person. So uh, who cares? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> all of this. <laughs> I was uh, <clears throat> at this person's house, and uh, I was, th there were some people I knew there, and then some people I didn't know. And uh, there was one person there I didn't know who was wearing a baseball cap. And the baseball cap said, this is my adulting hat. And uh, I was looking at this person. He, you know, I wasn't sitting by him. He was sitting, like, in another part of the, the house. And I was like, that person owns that hat? <laughs> like, and, not as a joke? Right. And they put it on to come out to this get together and they're wearing it and I'm looking at it right now <laughs> it's working and I couldn't stop staring at it I'm surprised he didn't come up and, and ask me what my problem was because I was staring at him all night because I was so annoyed by his stupid hat did you ever say anything to him no <laughs> you should have been like I like your hat but I well, don't let's, let's break it down what do you not like about the hat <clears throat> I don't like the term adulting uh-huh uh, you don't like someone wearing a funny hat, and I, I, I don't. The hat wasn't funny. I mean, like a, like, <laughs> a, like a a bad joke, funny. a joke hat. I guess maybe not. It's no, not, it's not a serious hat. It's a hat that he thinks is funny. Yeah, maybe that was it. Maybe I, I don't like that kind of joke, and I was <laughs> embarrassed for him. I always get confused because they make <laughs> a lot of those parody hats based off the "Make America Great Again" hat, the red yeah. hat. I see a lot of parodies of just like clearly people who are not in that um, support group. That's the wrong word for it. No. Who aren't <laughs> who don't support Trump, but they still wear that mm -hmm. hat. But it says something else like "Make Austin Weird Again" is one <clears> of the hats that I've seen where it's red. But it's like most people from afar are going to think it's that hat, right? And they're going to associate you with that group. And I feel like those people probably wouldn't want that, but they're still wearing that hat even though it's a joke. I mean, just, some people wear the actual hat, ironically, but at that point, there's no way of knowing. I yeah. Said, yeah. Yeah, like, like uh, our old friend Bernie, RIP, used to say, uh, <laughs> there is no doing it ironically. Once you're doing it, you are doing you're the thing. You're just doing it. Yeah, there, <clears throat> there is no distinction between that. Yeah. How, so how much for you to get a hat that says, this just is my adulting hat, and wear it for a year? No. How I don't much, wear hats to begin with. How much for you to let us, for one podcast... Purchase your wardrobe. 
<laughs> I'm I trying mean, to that, think how bad this could go. That just sounds like a good bit. I don't think we should. I pay think for it's that. a great I think that's bit. good content. Yeah. I think we should all arrange everyone else's wardrobe. We should pick names out of a hat. Okay, and that person gets to pick that person's wardrobe. Right. I like where this is going. We should absolutely do that. I think I hear Eric <laughs> shuffling. <paper. laughs> Are we writing this down? Okay, yeah, but if perfect. I pull your name, I have to buy you an outfit? Yeah, but it could be anything. It could be oh, anything. That was it. This is <laughs> my that's, adulting that's, that's, that's exactly I what it looked like. That. <laughs> that's exactly what it looked like. Uh, <laughs> He's probably just like a fun dad just trying to be a Yeah, is this a, a dad? Is it someone who has kids? It's a pretty dad I hat. don't know anything about him. Okay. Uh, looking at him, he was there. With a woman, and I believe they had wedding rings on, so probably. What was he okay. like? Do you, do you know anything I, about him? No. He wore that hat. That's it's all I remember. because Gus didn't want to talk to him because he was too embarrassed on behalf I, of him. And then I had another fucking inter- run-in with someone. I was... <laughs> <laughs> this is just like a nice, friendly get-together, and you're like... <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a different thing. I, was, I, was, oh. I went to lunch the other day. You know, there's that sushi place down the road over here on mm-hmm. airport. And I went to lunch, and uh, so I want some sushi. I went by myself, and... Um, so I walk in. Oh shit! You already got it done. What kind of hat? Oh, be, you got. My 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 only regret is if you'd come out with the cards in a hat, like oh. the one Gus described, it'd been perfect. <laughs> well, I'm gonna set He's this aside for now. He's not a wizard. There's one in the dressing room. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my story and then we'll we'll, we'll do this. Okay. Um, what if we pick ourselves? <laughs> Put it back in. Okay. So I went to the sushi place <laughs> over here, and I was by myself, and I walk in, and um, they're like, I said, I, w- I want to have. Lunch just for one. So they say, Is the sushi bar okay? I'm like, Yeah, I'm by myself. You know, I'm not an asshole. Sure, sushi bar's fine. So they sit me down to the sushi bar, and then, like, right after I, I sit down, another guy, come, they seat another guy, like, right next to me. Don't know this guy at all. Total stranger sitting to my left. And uh, he sits down and he starts talking to the sushi chef. I'm looking at the menu and stuff, and he's immediately, like, asking the sushi chef, uh, Hey, uh, is, you know, is this fish fresh or is it farm raised? Like he goes down the list, like he asks about a few different kinds of fish, and he's like, "Do you have uh, uh, any quail egg in?" And the chef's like, "Yeah, we do." He's like going through like a long list of stuff, and I'm like, "Man, this guy really knows his shit." Like he's being very specific about a lot yeah. of things. He, like he must know exactly what he wants. Like he's narrowing it down. And I was like, "I'm gonna kind of listen to him. I'm kind of curious to know what this guy's gonna, what, what this guy's all about. What he's gonna get." So then uh, the waitress comes over. He's like, "You ready to order?" He goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm gonna have." Couple pieces of this, couple pieces of this, piece of that. You know, like has this really long order. And then at the end, he's like, "And uh, three pieces of nigiri tuna." And she goes, "Okay, what kind of tuna?" And his face kind of drops, and he goes, "There's different kinds." <laughs> and I was like, after all of that <laughs> and all of that information, it's like he got a bomb dropped on him that there's different kinds of tuna. So the waitress like, "Well, yeah. I mean, if you look here on the menu, you see, you know, we have." The fatty tuna, the regular tuna, Maybe he didn't the realize, yellowtail like, tuna. That restaurant in particular had different kinds. But and, he's, that, and he's like, "Whoa!" He seems to be well versed. Maybe he was like, just like a health inspector. <laughs> he's like, "Well, I need a minute then <laughs> to determine if I want fatty tuna or not fatty tuna." Yeah, I was like, "Bluefin." So I, I just can't imagine. I went. So then I started wondering, like, did he read an article earlier in the day that was like? How to order sushi like a pro or something, <laughs> and then like he got Probably. a question back asked back at him, and then like his whole <laughs> his whole reality was uh was uh skewed. Your uh talk about that hat that said this is my adulting hat reminds me. I think the equivalent of like the female clothing brands is the shirts that say like. But first, champagne. Oh, yeah. Mommy like, needs wine. Or like, my religion is brunch. Or like, stuff like that, where it's just yeah. like, so cringy. <laughs> and I don't know the people who buy that stuff or wear that stuff proudly. Oh, I and hope I get your name so bad. For- <laughs> Forever 21 went bankrupt, right? Oh, it, it uh, filed for bankruptcy, but I think their stores are still open and like operating. I think they're just closing a few. Yeah. Not that they sell that kind of stuff, but it just made me think about they, that. I, I think they have some stuff like that, but usually you'll find that stuff in like department stores or mm-hmm. um, I, I guess those like younger teen, young adult stores. Whose hat is this? I don't know. Uh, it's Brian's hat. Brian okay. is, Brian's the director tonight, and so I took his hat. Hi, okay. Brian. It sits it's, on his desk. Oh, it's got pins all over it. That's why I'm asking. Well, he doesn't wear it. Well, you can wear it. It's just for drawing names. He'll wear it when the person who chooses Gus's outfit will choose, tells Ooh, him to. Oh, very cool. You're Bernie now. When Bernie's did a hat, back, baby. <laughs> when did a hat become the thing that you put a bunch of stuff in? 
Like oh, it was, at, it was at the World's Fair in Chicago in 1915. <laughs> Someone was like, you know what else you can do with hats? <laughs> put stuff in it. If you get yourself, put it back, but don't say who you got. Oh my god, pick a name. Yeah. That was they the were all folded well, in. You, you gotta, gotta, wait, wait, you you gotta make sure check, it's not you. You should check first. It's not, it's not me. So when are we doing this? So I was looking at the schedule. It uh -huh. looks like the 28th is open if you guys are available. October 28th? That is correct. <laughs> I think I get back Barbara's out. from London that night. I'll Great. be at then MCM. we'll see you here at the podcast. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. <laughs> I could. I could just come straight because I think I land at 5 p.m. So I can't oh. be on the regular podcast. But well, don't, don't do that. We'll just pick another day. Well, okay. Just get them to take oh, off. Well, I was like not looking so I could pick it out, but there's only one name in here. Uh, I have a question. For you guys, have, have oh, uh, well, I wonder, Chris, you just I wonder, if, I wonder if Chris got gun. No, 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 it's not about that. It's a completely different thing. I have a question for you. Okay, what completely size different. hat do you wear? No, 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 no. It's, it's nothing to do with the clothing. It, it was when you were talking about the 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 guy, how you were so mad at the person who wore the hat, and like you were seething, but you didn't say anything, right? Have I? I, would, I wouldn't say if I was mad. I was or you, annoyed. Yeah, yeah. Have I ever done anything where you were like? <laughs> Had that type of reaction to me, but you, do you want to know that though? I do. Well, now I do. I do. I kind of want to know that about all of us now. Like, has there been like, what a what a have idiot we... in that stupid? It didn't have to be clothing related. It's... It could be anything. Whenever I see you running, but that's that's all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you run everywhere, Chris? I just don't understand it. I get. I got places to be. I get that totally. I. I used to do it all the time. It just makes me think of like a little kid, like in elementary school, who like, they don't walk, they run. Th th there would be times where I'd be like, midnight, I'd be coming home from a pub on Friday night, and it'd be cold, and I'd live like 20 minutes away. If it's away, cold, I understand. And I would just sprint all the way home, and, and, and I'd that, be done in like five minutes. And yeah. that's how you killed a family of hedgehogs. That is exactly <laughs> how I did that. That's how I used to get home too when I lived in Montreal, I would just run, I would run home, because it's cold, and you want to get home sooner. But also, I didn't like being on the street by myself because I was a lady. Did you ever fall? Like, is it ever icy and you slip and fall? Uh, many, many times, yeah. <laughs> there was one time when I had to walk home from school. This is high school. And the pathway home, it was during, I think, like a ice storm or something like that. And the pathway had completely frozen over and it was all ice. And I had chosen to wear, like, boots that were like Ugg boots, which if you guys are familiar with those, yeah. have f absolutely zero traction on it whatsoever. And it took me, I think... An extra 45 minutes to get home because I was walking so slowly. <laughs> so. so we don't reveal our names? No, no. I'll, I'll get you after the show and we'll, I'll write down who's who and we'll, we'll work on it. Well, okay. we'll work, a, work out a date and stuff to, um, to do it all. I've, I've been trying to get better about planning the podcast more in advance. Mm -hmm. It used to be like... I've noticed that. I've gotten like... Uh, my calendar invitations from you for like the next couple weeks. So, it's so it's a lot easier when someone left. Interesting. <laughs> I have a little more stability. Who so wait, just now you've decided you want to like be actively more in, in just control now? of podcasts? Just now? No, I've been trying for over a year. <laughs> I mean still, that's a, like a decade after it started though. Yeah. You know how much time we put into <laughs> Snappy Shark and it was tossed aside? No, it wasn't. Snappy Shark. Snappy Shark was on the podcast for like six weeks in a row. Was that a bit for the podcast? It was a bit for yeah. Shark Week, wasn't when, it? Yeah, uh, when Luke Tipple was here. We made Snappy Shark for him. Yeah, but no one actually wants to play that lethal piece of shit Eric game. Eric does. I love Snappy Shark. Eric, you could play it all you want. What's I saw him win again the other day. I saw him win his second game ever. Might as well just call it Aid Game. I would, I, I would call aid, it Herpes Game. Aid, aid, aid Game. <laughs> Where's Snappy Shark? Is it thrown away? What is Snappy Shark? He's around here somewhere. Oh, Chris has never played Snappy the, Shark. The Have you never toy, played They replaced all the teeth with Thumb pins. Tacks. Oh! Ow! Yeah, do you want to play? Makes you Chris, bleed. you want to play against Eric? He apparently no. wins all the time. No, Eric has only won twice ever. Only Eric won. always loses. So if you want to, did he take it? Did he take Snappy Shark? Son of a bitch! I told you it's not out here. <clears throat> we kill him. <laughs> it looks a lot He's cleaner back dead. here. Like <laughs> Bernie took a lot of his personal stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. He had all his personal stuff up here. We should start putting our a own shark. personal stuff. Eric's not happy. <laughs> oh no, it's gone. Whatever shall we do? I am so disappointed. I liked having it around. Shoot. Is everyone happy with the name they pulled? I'm very happy with the name I pulled. I'm very happy. I'm very happy as well. I'm happy. I'm always happy. <laughs> Somehow always I think happy. Gavin has me. I'm getting the feeling that what? Gavin has me. <laughs> Did you see that... Uh, 
that influencer who tried to fake their way into a business class upgrade on I a plane. I did see that. How do you fake your way into a upgrade? <clears throat> they printed up a fake email from the airline saying, "Thank you for taking for using our airline to fly from I forgot it was like Hong Kong to New York. Uh -huh. You know, we would like to offer you a free upgrade from economy to business class." Just present this letter when you check in at the airport for okay, your free that's upgrade. How it's, done. it's not done, but in the back end, <laughs> they just make you print something. And then, <laughs> and then you show me, show like, it. look. And then I'm they go, yes. Guessing it didn't work. So then I think they, they flew, I, I want to say it was from Hong Kong to New York. Um, and, oh, no, wait. It's Taiwan. It's from Taiwan to New York. Uh, they did not honor it on the Taiwan to New York flight. Then when she went and tried it again on the return flight from New York, they said, oh, no. Your return ticket's been canceled and you're banned from our airline. <laughs> so then she had to buy it. He, all right, she had to buy a replacement, a replacement ticket. ticket. Wow. And now she's suing the airline and the airline says, no, just send us the email, forward it to us with the actual information and we'll make this all go away. Yeah. That, I mean, like, I guess not a lot of people know how upgrades work. So she thought that they could like weasel way, weasel her way in. But like upgrades, especially on a lot of airlines that I know about are very structured and like there is a they have a, a whole system to right. it and everything like that like it's not just an email you'll you get that's like yeah. just present this thing and you'll get I'll, it. I'll read an excerpt from her email please do because of your social network we would like to formally extend a business class upgrade to you on the day of your flight should any tickets still be available at check-in an agent will update your boarding pass if there is availability like they don't talk like that no uh should any tickets still be available at check-in they wouldn't say that I mean, they do say, like, if you request an upgrade, they say, like, we'll put you on the standby or wait list for it. Right. But they would say seats at that point. Yeah. Not, but not like, <clears throat> should they become available? Right. <laughs> it's just, it's just weird all the way around. I broke, I, uh, I broke, I broke my non fly streak. You did. Where'd you go? I went to LA. Mm. Just for, for a day. Just for a day. Just for a shoot. So oh, how yeah. long had it been? Like six weeks? Six weeks? That might be a new, uh, a stretch. new record. Are you losing, are you going to lose your status, you think? I'm at 92,000 miles for the year. What do you An need? executive platinum is 100. 100 so and to... I'm going to try and make it my goal to not get executive platinum. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. I barely, this year I barely qualified for the lowest tier of frequent flyer Damn. status. Like 25,000? Yeah, I think I've flown 26,000 this year. How did you do that? I don't, I, I, since... How did you feel since do RTX that? London of last year? I really haven't gone anywhere. I think most of those 26,000 are from when I took my vacation, when I went overseas myself. Oh. When did I film Haunter? Because that was a ton of travel. I think that was during or right after RTX London, wasn't it? Is that what it's like about? March, February, March. They did some after RTX London. Yeah, they did an episode there. I know because we, we extended the stay. I guess the tail end of Planet Slomo was this year. That must be how I got some. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Mm. Don't do a travel show if you don't want to fly. <laughs> oh, so, okay, we're on travel now. We're on planes. We're okay. on airports. Did you see the video of the <clears throat> out of control cart at O'Hare? Oh, my God. So good. What I don't understand about that video, so I guess you haven't seen it based on your reaction. Is it where it just went like... It's running in circles. There's people like standing around like right outside the circle the cart's going in like... Why would you stand there? There's like one guy who's like standing by the plane. It's like, are you going to let it hit you instead of the plane? Could like, I, you should just leave. Can I ask you guys a question about people standing in places and airports? So, I assume you've all checked a bag at some point in your life. Yes. Wait, you yeah. don't like people who stand right in front of the ramp? Why do people, the... why do people stand Right where the bags come out, right, right there, they cluster, and then when they see their bag, they have to like shove all these people out of the way to get their bag instead of just standing ten feet down where the bag is eventually right. going or to spin to be. Stand further away until you see your bag, and then step. But up. like, yeah. I don't even care if people stand right up there; just just spread out around the carousel. They think it's like a first come first serve thing when really it's like chance. Whoever's bag comes off first should walk up and get their bag. I literally will stand just like. 10, down. 15 feet down away from where the bags come out. Because I'm like, oh, my bag's coming down. Let me wait the 10 seconds it will take to get to me. I, I just stand like many layers back, and I'm priority usually. So my bags come out first. But they why, tag do you even, why do you even so, stand there? No, I, I mean, I'm, I'm behind everyone who's standing there. I'm just like 
by the chairs and stuff. Yeah. And I'll see my bag usually first or like in the first 10. And then I just walk around the other way because I can't get anywhere near the actual carousel. And I'll just meet you on the other side because everyone thinks that their bag is going to come off first. Just, or they could just stand there for like half an hour while the bags I was going to take a picture because I got in last night from a trip. And there must have been like 30 or 40 people just clustered around that entrance just like looking for their bags. I'm like... It's not gonna make it come faster. <laughs> You're not gonna get it like sooner than if you just stood like a little bit away because now you gotta go through all these people. You're probably not gonna get I guess, it. Anyways. I guess it's because it's just public transport in general. But yeah, if everyone just gets really freakishly like, oh, I gotta get ahead of everyone else when it comes to air travel. Yeah. yeah. And, and even if it's like it's getting like the off standing the plane, up on the plane. Yeah, it's the getting exact on same the plane. Thing. It's like or boarding. Yeah. We literally all leave and arrive at the exact same time. The only thing I will say that I do kind of understand is if. You are uh, bringing a bag onto the plane to put in the overhead compartment, and like, if your group is called, you want to get there like sooner so you have space because there's so limited space on the overhead compartments. I understand that to an extent, because even I mean, if you, you still have to board with your group, exactly. Yeah. Which I don't get why people just like wait at right. the front there, it's as if like, okay, you're gonna get ahead of like five people if you went like stand up and I wait. I think it might be people in later groups who are trying to get on a little earlier to put their bag in the overhead bin. Yeah, it's the only thing I can think. Um, I have a, I have a travel story, sort of a travel story. Huh? Sort of? Okay. Well, it, it's public tra it's pu transportation story. Most of the way there. It's transportation story. Um, this was a, about a month ago or something. Um, I woke up and I went to my car and my battery was dead. Uh, cause I think cause I went, I had left a little light on mm. and I was like, oh shit. And I was like, well, I got like a meeting and I don't have to, and there's no one around to jump it. I'll just call an Uber. You know, it's not, I don't live that far away. So I call an Uber, take Uber, get to work, have a meeting. And then I'm like looking around. I'm like, I don't have my backpack. I left my backpack in the Uber. Oh, shit. Uh, I thought it was in your car, maybe. So I was like, shit. Okay. Well, and you can contact Uber and be like, hey, I left something there. I contact the driver and I call the driver and he's like, I was like, yeah, hey, I left my backpack in your car. Uh, uh, and they're like, oh, I don't have my car anymore. This is an hour after my ride. Oh my it was one God. meeting. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, I just dropped it off at the uh, at the car repair place to get repaired. And, and they said it's going to be a couple days. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Wait, so how do I get my... He's like, I don't know. Uh, man, I don't know. I don't know what to do. How about he gives you the <laughs> name and the address yeah. of the place? And, and I was like, well, can you like call them and, and and verify that it's there and then let them know I'm going to come and get it? And he's like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll do that. So he did that. But it was like all the way down to south, like other part of town. Holy shit. Did you have to take an Uber to it? So I had to take an Uber. <laughs> and then down. you left another bag in that one. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to take an Uber down to this car dealership way down south. And then an Uber <laughs> back up, and I was like, "God damn it!" But you, <laughs> got, but you got your bag. I you got, got my bag. bag. Yeah. What did you tell the guys when you showed up there or the the shop? I was like, "Hey, my friend, I left something in my. I didn't want to explain. I was like, I left something in my friend's car. I was like, you could have said I, I took an Uber and the guy dropped his car just, off here. It just felt like a lot of. I don't know. It just felt like less. It felt sketchier to be like, it's. I don't know the person, but I left my bag in. The, I don't know. Yeah. But I guess like you'd have to know it's there to even. <laughs> That's get really it. annoying. It's so much more inconvenient. It was really Fuck. expensive too, because it was you had like to go all the way down and yeah, then back. Yeah. Well, did I? And then I still it, had to. And then I still had to Uber home. <laughs> how does it work like that? Like, does Uber help cover those costs at all? No, because I mean, it's your fault. It's my fault. Left yeah. there, but it, it was. It was. It was just my. I just. Yeah. It, but it's in the guy's car. Who, it's just shitty luck. Yeah. And it was like, it was not. It, I mean, it was one hour. One, because it, it was like yeah. Wait. Well, having to go, to, Where go there. Where did you put it. your backpack? I sat in the back seat of the Uber, yeah. set it down in on the seat, and then I was like, and I got up and left. Whenever I got out of the, you know, like I think it was like on my phone or something. Mm. And I was like, most of the time I don't have a backpack when I'm in an Uber, so I don't really think about it, you know. Yeah, one, I get that. One time when we were at Pax Boston or Pax East, I. uh Something similar happened where as I was getting out, I don't remember if it was a cab or an Uber, it was probably a cab. Uh, as I was getting out, my phone fell out of my pocket and I didn't realize it and it was in the back seat. So like the whole time at the event, 
I had logged in to find my iPhone and someone else's phone was like pinging it and make, trying to make it ring. And eventually I got a hold of the person who was driving the car and I convinced him. I was like, I'll, I'll pay you to come back. I remember <laughs> that. Where, wasn't there an event where we had like prints or like something that we left in, the, in a car? Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. That's, no, that was, that was definitely not me. Someone me had like phone. prints for something and they were like really important and they like weren't able to get any more of them. And they convinced the guy to come back and gave him like a $50 tip. Because they were just so thankful that they brought it back. Oh, that, was, that like, was not me. I paid more than fifty dollars for my phone. Yeah, because <laughs> he could have just turned it off and sold it. Yeah. Right, right. I was like, I'll give you money to come back with my phone, please. <laughs> um, we were reminded of that time um, when we were near a Comic Con this weekend. Miles, Carrie, and I were reminiscing about the PAX East we went to, where our flights got oh, canceled, God. and we were talking about how if you weren't there, because you figured out. This whole, like, you got a seat on another plane that went to New York. New York. And then you rented us a car that would drive all of us to PAX. And we were talking about how this was so long ago to the point where we were so inexperienced with travel. If you weren't with us, we would have been so fucked. That was complicated. Yeah. Because I think that was eight <clears throat> people across three or four different reservations. Yeah. On the same airline. So I had to, like, it call was... the airline and try to merge all of the reservations and then get them all transferred to the same flight. It was you, Jack, me, Miles, Carrie, Monty, and Shane. Seven. Seven, seven. okay, Seven yeah. people. And you had to find seven open seats on one I flight. I had to find a plane. I was like, yeah. can you fly us to Boston? No. Can you fly us to Providence? No. Can you fly? I was like just working my way to other airports in New England, like in the Northeast. Yeah. It ended up being kind of fun, though. It was fun, yeah. but it was a fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> we stopped for milkshakes on the way. We did, yeah. It was when they had the shamrock shake at McDonald's. We stopped for a shamrock shake. Yeah. <laughs> and it was so cold out, too. I remember thinking you guys were fucking crazy. It was just it's the kind of trip where like, you get to the hotel room and just like flump onto the bed. Yeah, well, I remember, like I don't know how he did, but Bernie got there somehow, just fine. I guess maybe his flight wasn't canceled, and he was waiting for us in the lobby, and he's that's, like, you guys made it! That's so <laughs> Fuck you! That's very Bernie. I love it. And then there was like some fuck up at the hotel, too. Do you remember? Like, someone's room wasn't ready or wasn't right. Or, like, they didn't have the reservation for it. Right. So they gave them the presidential suite. I don't remember that, but so, fuck that so it was person. Like, so we all had to fight over it because nobody wanted it. Because it was just, like, a small bedroom with a giant boardroom and, like, a kitchen attached to it. Oh, yeah. And it was like, we all went up and looked at it. It was like, whoever wants it can have it. And it was like, no, not me, not me, not yeah. me. So we had to I'd be all over that. That'd be wicked. Nobody wanted it. We all had to fight I over feel like who had to stay there. Now I would there. want it. But that's, back then when I was like 22, fun. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> now yeah. I would just like fucking sit in every seat at that table. Yeah, I'd sleep on the table. One time I got in trouble at an Airbnb for that. Um, for sitting at a table? No, for <laughs> I for, for using all the beds. Um, so I, I it was me and... um. Me and Josh Flanagan uh, had gotten, we were doing like a writing retreat and we like booked an Airbnb uh, for like four or five days. And, you know, like they asked how many people are staying. So I was like two. Um, just, you know, and I, you know, you can say why you're visiting. Like, oh, we're just doing a little, you know, writing retreat. Just two of us are going to like log up and, you know, do some work. She's like, okay, cool. Da, 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 da. And then whenever I went to go, uh, like I, we checked out and left and everything. Um, and then I got a message, and the lady was like, uh, "I'm gonna have to charge you for uh, additional people staying there because there were there was a lot of people staying." I was like, "No, it was just two of us. No one, no one else went in." And she's like, "Well, every single bed was slept in." <laughs> How many beds are we talking about? Uh, there were like six beds, and you just slept in different beds. Well, every night? I only slept in one. Josh decided to sleep in a different <laughs> bed every night, like <laughs> fucking like Goldilocks or something. <laughs> Uh, to see which one was more comfortable. This one is too soft. And <laughs> you have to wash every single bed. And and I was like, I and I explained. I was like, I, I guess my my friend is an idiot, and uh, <laughs> he slept in every bed because I don't know why. And and she's like, well, no, that's not true. I found I found women's clothing. Also, Josh. And I was like, N there were. I promise you, unfortunately, no women <laughs> in the place the entire time. Uh, I was like, maybe they were closed from some other Airbnb, but they were not. And then she was like, I don't believe you. I'm like, well, I don't know what to tell you. And then I didn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I paid for the Airbnb. I didn't pay the additional fee for extra people. Right. I mean, they just take it from your information, don't they? No. Well, no. She, I, I think you have to authorize it. Yeah, really? I don't know. It was like, a, I, I would have. Sure she, she didn't end up, she didn't end up chart. 
she tried to charge me and I disputed it or something. I don't remember. <laughs> like fighting every Jesus. step of the way. But I was like, I. It didn't say Did, have, you can only stay with two people and you can only use two beds. Have you heard that thing? I'm. I'm really. I love Airbnb. I, whenever I travel, I like to stay in Airbnbs. Mm -hmm. I'm really nervous about hidden cameras in Airbnbs now. I thought about that too. Because it's apparently not necessarily a violation of their terms of use. What? But I mean, like, and people have found cameras in Airbnbs and brought it up, and it's it's like it's a really gray area in. Interesting. That there, let me see if I find an Airbnb hidden <clears throat> camera. If they have hit cameras, they should tell you where they are, and they shouldn't be in like. Yeah, like I understand. Here you like, go. So from March twenty sixth, an article in the Atlantic, Airbnb has a hidden camera problem. And is, it, is it just a bunch of people trying to just jerk off to people changing and stuff? I think they say it's for security or to keep an eye on their stuff, but. I mean, I, I could see like if you're a security about camera that, by like the front door, like yeah. th where the doorbell is. But but not like the live. You don't need a camera in the living room. Right. Well, there's a, like I mean, you they... search for Airbnb hidden camera, and all the returns are hidden cameras in your Airbnb. Here's how to find them. Four ways to tell if there are hidden cameras in your Airbnb. How to scan your Airbnb for hidden cameras. How to find hidden cameras in your Airbnb and anywhere else. What are Airbnb's rules about <laughs> security? I mean. It's the entire front page of Google if you do a search. So basically, for it. you're saying if we ever stay in an Airbnb, do a little quick check. I guess it's a risk that you stay. But you never you have to take staying I mean, like, in someone else's house. If it's in the living room or whatever, then I get it. But like bedrooms and bathrooms seems <clears throat> like it should be not legal because like those are the places that you would even be changing in the living room. The living room too, I guess. But I guess it also depends on who you're staying with and and what you're doing. I mean, but, if they get around it by just getting changed in the kitchen. <laughs> 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 I mean, because like I, I, I've, I've fooled around in the living room of an Airbnb before. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're like, was it with Josh? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she charged you extra. <laughs> she saw. She knows. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah. All right. What's well, about time to wrap this up? Uh, Sweet. Right. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the podcast. We have a question for you. Whose outfit are you most looking forward to seeing out of everyone who was on the podcast tonight? Since we're going to be doing that swap. Gavin can't answer. Gavin can't here. answer. He took off. Um, you should leave a comment down below. Let us know whose outfit you're most excited to see. And also, while you're at it, check out some of these videos below and like and subscribe. I'm nervous for mine. <laughs>